All right, Sweethearts and Heroes family, something amazing is happening tonight. Uh, Jason Spector is renewing his vowels. Vowels, like A-E-I-O-U. Um, he's supposed to be doing it in Las Vegas with his beautiful bride, Stacy. And Rick and I are actually back and forth. We're like a couple of digital best men. All right, it's an amazing day in Mr. Incredible Land. Look at the rain and look at the beautiful weather, spring weather. Something amazing is happening. What's her name, Thomas? Um, this little one is departing. She's going away. That says she is enlisting in the United States Air Force's National Guard today. So, long day today. Uh, we were in Fort Ann, New York yesterday, Rick and I, and I'm just arriving in Montreal, and I thought I'd stop by the place where, uh, one of the places that gave me a lot of the superpowers that I have. You know, that's that hook with kids, this mixed martial arts. I decided to stop by real quick to the Jim TriStar, to look it up, uh, Montreal TriStar Quebec. Uh, you'll see it's one of the greatest gyms on planet Earth. My man Faraz is a hobby, is the coach. Uh, no coach on Earth that's better strategically up here. That's just my opinion. Anyway, I'm um, we'll gonna go in, check the gym out, see if uh, anybody's here. Um, it's pretty late right now, but I figured I'd just stop by and see if I could see some of the old guys. Tomorrow, West Mount High School. International Sweethearts and Heroes, acclaimed. So I'm here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and this is where I used to do a lot of my training for mixed martial arts, but the reason that I believe I really had any success, and one of the reasons that I talked to so many kids was because of all the lessons I picked up, not in mixed martial arts, but in philosophy and life. Came from this guy right here. <laughs> hey guys, how are you? Now that is the man for us, a hobby, and for us, you know, coached me for a, several years in the sport of mixed martial arts. And so if you had to talk to kids that had some challenges, especially kids that are facing this thing called hopelessness, because that ultimately is the root of why kids make some of the destructive decisions that they make. So what do you got for them, coach? Well, I'll tell you something. <clears throat> Look at all the stories of people who had a hard life. First of all, guys, I want to excuse my eye. I have a slight eye injury. I hope I'm not grossing you up. Look at all the, the, the people who, who did great things in life. They all persevered. Nobody had it easy. Nobody had a happy ending the easy way. You gotta slay that dragon. So when you're faced with a dragon, it's time to show your true character. Show that you're brave, show that you're courageous. Whatever your dragon is, you're gonna overcome it, guaranteed, one way or another, as long as you don't give up. That's the bottom line. Sometimes it takes longer than others. Some people's stories are longer than others. Some people's struggles are longer than others. But the people who never give up, trust me, they always get a happy ending. There you go, from TriStar Gym, the great Barasa Hobby, right? And uh, you watch UFC, you'll see him in some of the best people's corners on planet earth there you go we'll see you tomorrow west mount high school boom great city of montreal no greater feeling than being back here in montreal where i spent six seven years training with some of the best guys on planet earth west mount you don't know about this but i forgot my push-ups i gotta do 333 a day i didn't do my push-ups yet today 333 push-ups west mount before bedtime 220, 13 more, I'm starting to sweat, I'm supposed to be sweating at 11.05 at night, 205, uh, what did I say, 220, 13 more, I did a few extra. I know the school isn't far from here. Um, let's see here. There he is. 
What's up, man? How you doing? I'm living the dream. Who's with? Awesome old fart. Awesome old <laughs> fart. That's what he calls himself. How old is the school? Uh, actually, the roots of the school go back to about 1906. Really? Yeah, this one I think is the 60s. We do. Oh, hey, I don't know anything about these That's, things. You're the vlogger now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can, I can barely use the cell phone, Listen. remember that. Awkward. Hey! How are you? Good. So tell me about the school. Westmont, I've been here, this is my second year, and I've been on council for a year, and it's just a very inclusive school, I find. What, what are the kids like? And it's a very diverse school. We've taken a lot of steps to make sure everyone feels included. Like, most schools don't have, like, anti-bullying shirts. But we have our own custom shirts, which I think is something very unique about our school. How are you doing? Great. That's what I'm talking about. All right. And really, to tell you that story, I have to take you back to September 1st, 2006, when I was in Iraq, and I was a soldier in the U.S. Army. Do you know kids who are dealing with really difficult stuff in their life, or maybe even feel hopeless? I'm sorry. You are Fall into a bucket of cream. Best yeah. Hold on. They're there and they're trying to keep afloat, but the first mouse gives up, drowns in the cream. But the second, the second mouse tries to stay afloat and is splishing and splashing this cream for so long that he turns the cream into butter and can easily just crawl out of the bucket. And that's something profound. So. <laughs> I'll say one thing. I'll say one quick thing. One of my favorite quotes of all time came from Mahatma Gandhi. And I wore this bracelet for about a year until I met a little girl who was in a, down near New York City. She was in the hallway, teachers were walking by her. The presentation was about to start and she had tears running down her face and she was shaking because she couldn't come into the auditorium because she just had so much fear and anxiety going on. And I didn't say much to her. I just said hello. I had a bracelet on and it was a Mahatma Gandhi quote. And Gandhi said, you need to be the change you want to see in the world. So we can tell people, oh, don't act like that. You shouldn't treat people that way. But Gandhi would say, no, you just need to be that change. So I thought that's great that you got a Gandhi poster because whatever the change is, if you want your sister, your brother to stop annoying you, think about what you're doing, not what they're doing that's causing that. So you need to be the change you want to see in the world. So I don't know if that beats the butter and cream, but should we eat? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I gotta this. Now check this out. I always have kids that write on their hands the five bully buttons, and somebody just said to me, you're not really giving us the million dollars, are you? And I'm like, mm, probably not. But... What's your name? Julia. Julia, I always talk to people when their mouths are full. <laughs> okay, so Julia said, you're not gonna give us the million dollars, are you? I said, no. She goes, okay, because I wrote them on my leg. Yeah. leg. Right there. Like, I've never had anyone write them on your leg. Is that, was the real estate just taken on your hand and you couldn't get them on your hand, or? Well, my hand, I think, would come off. Oh, so you wrote them on your leg. 
I thought you were going to ask a bunch of questions. So you, so I can tell you're gonna have a real problem someday with tattoos. Well, you know what they say: the best students in the world take the best notes. Do I want to know what? How good the presentation was. How good was it? It was good to the point that I actually cried. Really? Yeah. That's sad. Because I could, I could relate so much to really? that. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for sharing. That. Yeah. Are you recording? No, I would just like to point out to okay. okay. everybody so, what's really up. Really quickly, I just want to, if you guys are going to watch this later, I just we want you look guys. At this. No, no, I'm sorry. I keep looking at myself, but we should look it's at It's weird. I just want to thank you guys for everything you're doing in this school, and I'm really excited to get to know you guys a little bit more. Come next week at our camp. In terms of people that I've met in my life that are wise, Tom and Rick are both. They they know a lot and they've they've talked to a lot of people and they've learned a lot of things and they're teaching a lot of very important things and I just like to thank you guys for that. Very inspiring. Thank you. My idol. So we uh. I just had a little bit of a nice thing. So you should check out. You guys know Tom. I know Tom. He's the man. That's it. I want to like run through these. Like, or just like we'll get a picture of you like doing snow angels in the, <laughs> <laughs> the balloon. There's been a lot of time and effort put into this day. I think that there's a lot of lessons to be learned. You'll see a very uh, empowering presentation. I'll let Hannah do the introduction. The one thing I want to remind you of is that Sweetheart and Heroes, the company that's coming today to speak to you, is an American company. We're actually their very first Canadian school that they've ever been to. So show them. So please show them a very warm Canadian welcome when they enter. So here's Hannah to introduce them. Welcome. Thank you so much for that. It was absolutely awesome. So I am Rick. And I get to talk to you today about my favorite button. And that's button number two. So understand that your destiny and the destiny of others changes forever when you're in that moment. You all have the power to become someone's hero. Give Rick one more hand. got down to West Mountain. I had to book out of there. I really wanted to stick around after a little leadership group. Um, but I got to drive way past Albany tonight. I'm way up in Montreal now. But uh, the West Mountain kids, man, top notch. I was telling you, I was a little nervous coming to first Canadian school. But then uh, people were like, oh, that's a tough school. You guys were amazing. Amazing. But I'm headed back into TriStar here, uh, the gym I trained at for years. I'm headed in there and uh, I don't know if I see anybody, but I just want to say goodbye to a few people if I could. Alright? Alright. So I didn't get to see uh, a couple of the people that I really wanted to see, but that's okay. I'm coming back to Montreal. But I just wanted to say again to Westmont High, this is my sign off. Tom Murphy, Sweethearts and Heroes. And I'm going to tell you what, I wish half the schools. <laughs> Now they won't like me saying this, in the U.S. were as amazing as Westmont High was. So anybody that ever tells me, oh that's a tough school, I'm going to tell them you better think twice or you're going to have to mess with this, alright? Westmont High, you were amazing. So Tom Murphy, I'm out of here and uh, we'll catch you next time around, Westmont. Boom!